in Coney Island, May 19th, the museum is opening after the Hurricane Sandy hit, and they asked if I'll pull a vehicle with my teeth. I have a rope and a chain and the mouthpiece, that's all it is. Hook it to the car and pull it. Of course, I try to be careful at my age. I passed 92. My next birthday, December, I'll be 93. I still feel I have the body power to be able to accomplish it. And using mind control, I feel I can do it. During World War II, when it broke out, my dad started to entertain the soldiers and also do shows to raise money for the war bonds. I got the idea, why shouldn't I develop an act also when I went into the service, went into the Air Force and decided to get an act together and start doing some of the feats of strength, of course smaller items than my dad did, but also iron bars, chains, horseshoes, so on. I got an act together, and every army camp that I was stationed at, I would do shows for the soldiers, entertain them. In town, I would do a show on the stage, the local theaters, and raise money for war bonds also. And that's how I spent my off hours to do something good. When I worked for Transworld Airlines at Kennedy Airport, I pulled a TWA truck with my teeth. So between my hair and my teeth and my bending, I worked up the act during the war and I continued it to this day. I do a little here, there to keep myself fit. My walking isn't as great as it used to be, but I still have strength in my legs. It's just a matter of using your strength, plus focusing your mind has a lot to do with mind control and body control and psych your mind to focus on just that and convincing yourself in your mind that you're stronger than the item, no matter what. You're more powerful than what it, you're accomplishing, trying to accomplish. Everyone tells me I'm too old to pull the car. They say I'm crazy. But I enjoy the ability, and to me it's, thank God I'm able to do it. I'm able, and I get pleasure out of knowing that I have the strength and I'm able to at my age to do the things I do.